also be showing you. We will also be showing you a very small man having a very big car accident. But even we, with our limited knowledge of television, realise that you don't do that now, you have to do that later on in the show, otherwise everyone would just watch it now and then turn over and watch the final of Big Brother. <laughs> so what we're actually doing by that is, is saving you from yourselves, really. Here we have, and that's one problem solved, but we do have another one, of course, because all the time that we've been off air, people have been coming up to me and Jeremy and they've been saying, will Top Gear go back to the way it was? Is it still just going to be three normal blokes cocking about and arguing? I mean, it is actually a problem, really, because obviously one of us blokes has now become Princess Diana. <laughs> <laughs> it's tricky. No, it really has. However, Princess Diana himself has said quite explicitly that he just wants to come back onto a show that was the way it was mm, back, back in the summer. Exactly. He said, please don't make any changes, please. Yeah, he actually said explicitly, for Pete's sake, don't make a big fuss. Absolutely. So, it gives me really great pleasure, because I didn't think I'd ever be saying this at one point. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome... Richard Hammond! <laughs> That was the most embarrassing thing I've ever had to do. Well, I wouldn't say that to any of the people who've just had to jump off a Boeing 737 at Luton. <laughs> no, we no. were going to get some, like, Morecambe and Wise ones, you know, the big ones. Do you know how much they were it going to be to build? 300 quid. Oh, fair enough. I mean, we like him, OK? We're glad you're back. But 300 quid no, for no. Bill Gates, so no airplane step. Wish you hadn't bothered, thanks. Anyway, you. listen, this is the big question I guess everybody wants to know. Are you ready? Are you now a mental? No! <laughs> I'm not! I'm fixed! I'm completely fixed and normal and healed, thank you. What are you doing? Well, you know, it's a, it's a tissue for if you start dribbling. <laughs> That's all I've had for four months. What, tissues? No! People hanging around just watching, waiting for my eyes to point in different directions for me to go bonkers. I'm fixed, I'm normal. Are you the same person that you were before? Yes, I mean, the doctors were worried because it was brain damage about, you know, personality change or whatever, but, no, the only difference really between me now and me before the crash is I like celery now and I didn't... <laughs> So you're oh. still shouty, you're still fighty? Yes. And if I take you to the pub, are you still going to want to punch me in the face after 15 minutes? Yes, though that's, to be honest, more your personality than mine. <laughs> so I always want to punch him in the face yeah, after that's 15 perfect minutes. Not. Sometimes less. <laughs> OK, and look, the most important thing, I think, really, is to make sure this never happens again, the crash. Because, I mean, you... Like Cat from Shrek 2 here, you have used up eight of your nine lives, really. So, I've decided that in future, all the really fast cars, the Lambos, the Astons, Ferraris, I will look after them. I'll, I'll, You'll drive them? Yeah, I'll drive them. No personality change for you either, then. It's business as usual. Absolutely, I'm still the same kind, thoughtful soul that I always was. That's quite <laughs> moving. OK, brilliant. And thank you. Thank you for that, and thank you as well for... The embarrassing stairs thing, that's great. There is one more thank you, please, if you don't mind. The difference what? here is perhaps... I mean this one. Um, I'd like to say thank you to all of the nurses and the doctors and all the staff in Leeds and in Bristol where I was when I was being stuck back together and the people at Yorkshire Air Ambulance who got me there in time and particularly, and particularly right now, to everybody who wrote in, some of the people in here, maybe and you perhaps, that wrote in just to wish me the best. It really meant a lot and it helped and thank you. Guys. Shall we resume normal service? Absolutely.